What do I do when I think someone has violated our code of conduct? Under the Public Schools Act, every school board is required to have a trustee code of conduct. The legislation outlines the bare minimum that the code must contain, the vote needed to pass a serious sanction, and a few other critical details. However, it does not provide much in the way of guidance as to how to launch, investigate, and respond to a code of conduct complaint. This is why clarity in school board procedures relating to code of conduct violations is critical. As a starting point, your procedures need to state clearly who to approach if a trustee suspects a code of conduct violation, and there should be more than a single option here. Codes may say that the complaints are made to the chair, but what if the chair is the target of the complaint? The code must also outline the process that the recipient of the complaint is to follow. Is it acceptable that the chair or other recipient approach the accused privately and attempt to remediate the concern informally, or must it go directly to the entire board? Can the complainant remain anonymous? Will the complaint be discussed in camera or in public session, remembering that the vote on any such sanction must be in an open meeting? So, the short answer to the question of what to do if someone has violated your code of conduct is check your internal procedures for guidance. But ideally, check them before you're faced with a violation, as the best time to establish a reasoned and logical approach to a potential situation is any time other than when you're in the midst of it.